Hey YouTube, I'm coming to you to show you how I'm going to refresh my braid pinup and pompadour. Um, I have had it up a week and a day and it has gotten really itchy and frizzy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've unpinned it all. I've parted it in sections. I have my two side braided sides clamped and then I'm going to put the, this area right here that I just have two strand twisted, I'm going to put it in a rubber band and section it away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to co-wash my pompadour and then I'm going to take down a certain number of braids on each section and rebraid them. And I'm doing this because I want to keep this for maybe another week and then uh, take it down and do a deep condition. So uh, what I did is I took it down, I separated my pompadour, parted in sections and scratched my scalp because I did have some dandruff up there. I didn't want to put that on here because that's kind of icky. but um. I've scratched my scalp. Now I'm going to get my As I Am co-wash cleanser and co-wash this part. And like I said, I will then take down maybe four at a time and rebraid. Well, cleanse the scalp for those sections and rebraid. I do have a lot of gray, but I have a hair show coming up. We're having a our second annual hair show in Birmingham um, next month so I, want, I don't want to color it right now it's only been maybe a month since my color so I'm going to color it closer to the time of my of the hair show so right now all I'll be doing is refreshing this style I will come back later to show you um, some of the steps of my refreshing and what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, rinse my hair in the sink. I won't be getting in the shower and all that good stuff like I normally uh, do my hair. So I'll just be co-washing this and doing it in the sink and then I'll stretch it for um, my pompadour. But I will let you see that. I will be okay. back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my hair with my water and grapeseed oil. You can see that. I'm just going to spray it to get the hair damp. Really good. Okay, I've sprayed my hair. It's well saturated. Now I'm going to get my As I Am Coconut Co Wash Cleanser. And I'm just going to take little sections and put it all over the hair. put it in the sections because I want to focus on my scalp since my scalp is what's really dirty. And I'm going to put some all over the hair. And I will proceed to massage my scalp using the balls of your fingers, not the nail.
And as you notice, when I sprayed my hair with the water, I had the oil in there also. I use oil for everything. The only time that I don't have oil incorporated with a liquid for my hair is when I'm using my aloe vera juice. I only have water in that um, container, but with everything else, if it's not mixed with oil, then oil is going in shortly thereafter. Okay, so I've done all the cleansing I want to do here. So now what I'll do is I'll rinse it in the sink and I will come back to you guys later. Oh, also I just want to show you where I have the, sh the hair that's shedding. This is expected because my hair has been up for eight days. It's not that much and when you consider my length, and the texture, um, this little bit isn't really that bad. So, um, once you, when you have a protective style, you should always expect some type of shedding because um, with it being protected, you're not allowing your hair to shed like it normally would. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I've rinsed that out. I will just wring it lightly and I will now add my leave-in. Now what leave-in am I using today? Although this isn't a leave-in, I use it as a leave-in. It's the Giovanni Smooth and Silk Deep Moisturizer. So I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to detangle. My hair and my scalp feels so good. I'm so used to doing something to my hair often. It was killing me that I wasn't doing anything to it for these past eight days. My scalp is clean, fresh. And because I used a co-wash, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> a cleansing conditioner, my hair isn't hard. It's still soft, very well moisturized. I'm finger detangling, and then I'm going to um, band it with my rubber bands. And then once I band it, I'll proceed with um, refreshing the braids. Okay, now that it's well detangled, I'm going to start to band. Okay. And like I said, when you wear protective style, expect shedding because you've gone so long without combing your hair to see or get any shedding. Okay, I'm squeezing out any excess conditioner. And I'm just going to band it to the front. The first band I put on a few times, but all others after that, if it's a small rubber band, I may do it three times. I mean, I'm, I may do it twice, but if it's a large rubber band, I'll do it maybe three times. These I'm going to do only twice. last one three times okay and that's how I'm banding the top okay the middle is going to remain the same then what I'm going to do with each braided section 
I'm going to take these three down, cleanse the scap. Okay, so instead of cleansing the braids, I decided to just take them down, spray them with water and oil, grapeseed oil, and apply a little gel on them. I'll be using my Eco Styler pink gel. And I just put a little gel at the root just to uh, help it to not frizz really soon because I'm trying to keep this long. So what I do is just go over and braid. And yes, I'm doing every braid. But because I'm doing this, this will give me another week with minimal frizz. And I won't have to worry about doing anything to my hair for possibly another eight days. And then after those eight days, I will take the complete style down and deep condition. And once I finish the braid, I start to twist the hair with a two-strand twist. And then once I get to the end of the two-strand twist, I pull it over to the other side and pin it so that it can be stretching while I'm doing the other braid. And I'll just pull it over and pin with the others. And proceed to do another one. And there my braids are fresh again, like it's a brand new style. I will come back to show you the finish. Good morning, line. YouTube. It's next morning. And I am now going to finish my refreshed pompadour. Um, I co-washed it last night. I'm going to turn around so you can see my refreshed cornrows and my refreshed pinup. Okay. Now that I've refreshed it, I can go another week without having to worry about frizz or with it looking old. So what I do for my pompadour, I get a little of my cream. It really doesn't matter which cream that I use. I just want something to kind of keep the hair in place. So this morning I'm going to use my olive oil and mango curl pudding, curl defining pudding. I'm going to put a little in my hand. Rub it over the hair. Being sure to get those ends. And then I'm going to put it on my fingers. Roll it and then hold it. I'm going to get my bobby pin and pin it. And then I'm going to pin the other side. another section I'm going to 
do the same. Get a little oil on my hands, a little cream on my hands. Feel that pen didn't go in good. It's rolling back up. I'm late for work as usual. Um, I realized, okay, then I get the sections and I grab the tip. And I twist the tip and I make it fat and today I'm going to do it like this and then I'm just gonna pin it over to the side then I'll style it like I want it pulling it until it's the shape that I want it to be now my hair is wet because I, I had a lot of conditioner in it last night so I didn't allow the time for it to dry, but that's okay. It'll dry throughout the day. And that is my finished pompadour refreshed and my cornrows refreshed. Now I'm going to get my behind out of here because I'm terribly late. I hope you all like. Please like this video. Please subscribe. And please continue to go on this journey with me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.